Well, howdy all. Yeah, I know it's been a while, but the rains are going away. Yay! Thank the Lord for that. But the weeds are growing like crazy. Got a lot of spring work to catch up on, but I thought I better start doing a video. I rolled some obsidian in my 12 pounder. I did two weeks of 60-90 grit, about two and a half weeks. And I will stop, package them up, throw them in the vibe tumbler after this, but I got them down pretty good. As you can see, they're turning out pretty nice. And there's some imperfections in there, and I'll work some of them out. But I, I get rid of a lot of this material, and a lot of people like the imperfections. Because they like the natural beauty of the stone. And I, I seen some pretty nice stuff in here when I was... Oh, look at that. Ain't that beautiful? Pretty nice. Oh, look at here. Got some gold sheen. This is off the gold sheen and uh, fire pits. Thanks to Henry Coons for inviting us over. I like listening to his stories more than I like collecting and I love to collect so you can go from there. He's uh, very knowledgeable on glass buttes and all the material that's out there. He's been doing it since the 60s. No guessing on him, he, he knows it all. This is, I like this one here, look at this. See the play in there? It's going to be a beauty. This one I might keep. Might have to keep you. Uh, let me get right down on the bottom there. You can see a little gold sheen going on. That's pretty cool. Get some nice material out of here. As I said, gold sheen and fire pits. The purity on the stuff that comes off the fire pits is just like glass. Everybody thinks it's just glass, but it's not. It's, it's obsidian. Buddy Josh Jr., he got a couple of them that, that are pretty purified. And you'd swear it was glass, but wow, look at that beauty. Holy moly! That is awesome. Guess where that one's going? My pocket. Look at that. Just look at that. Holy moly. And people wonder why I love obsidian. That's the only thing I want to do anymore is obsidian hounding. I like other materials too, but take me obsidian hounding any day. Yeah, that's pretty cool material. Look at that. Just so much to play. So many designs. I'm not going to show you everything in here. You guys get the picture, but it's been a while since I posted. Look at the some gold sheen and fire in there. And I got another buddy that lives pretty close. He works fire obsidian, so I could take a couple pieces over to him and have him kind of eyeball them out. And See what's going on there. There's a trick to finding fire obsidian, and he kind of showed me. It pertains to having a black bucket and water, and then the sunlight plays out the rest. There's gonna be some goodies in here, and got a lot to go through. I'm not gonna do that. pieces in there that yeah and there's a purpose for all this stuff even if I don't want it yeah see there's look at there there's a seam going through that one a little layer might even be fine yep 
A little fire layer in there. Just got to learn how to work it out. It's this one here. Nope. Yep, yeah, beautiful material. I have fun hounding it as much as I do working it. Right, what we got here. That's a pretty nice piece too. It's not fire, but got a little thing going on in there. Well, this is just going to be a short video. And kind of nice to get back into the saddle again here. Ooh. Oh, this is beautiful too. Get my vibe tumbler going. I got a double lotto. That's <laughs> still in the box. I haven't even used it yet. Yeah, I'm slow. Got one gear. Not slow. But I'll get there. So, you have it. There's going to be some beautiful stuff in here. And as always, I appreciate all my people that follow me. And thanks for looking.